Get him! Get the chicken! Save the chicken! Hi, hey, welcome back to the Spanless Game, where I'm playing Atari 2600 games in the order they came out in, and today we're playing three games. We're playing Sequest, Shuttle Orbiter, and Sky Skipper. If you haven't already, please subscribe and check me out on Patreon. Our first game today is Sequest, which came out in 1983, and this is the box art, just an Activision title here. Looks like we got a, a shark trying to eat some divers. Meanwhile, over here we have uh, submarines battling out and some more sharks back of the box. Marina is a space life army, which mission is to save the people settled in space colony from the third group's destroy and control. This can't be the real back of the box, right? Made in Taiwan. Now, this is some knockoff back of the box. Oh, well, we'll go with it. Uh, the enemy establishes a nucleus to keep these colonists from escaping as the saying process. <laughs> Marina rescues six persons with a limited tank and should drive up to above the shield to add gas before breaking out because of being exhausted. If saving less than six driving out sides, one of the retrieved colonists will be reduced. Two games, two players. All right, let that sink in. Let's play the game. All right, so I'm the yellow torpedo thing. Shooting sharks. Rescuing divers. Is this a one-screen game? It's kind of like one-screen defender. Nope, can't go any further than that. Let's get this gray guy. Oh, he got me. Oh, probably shouldn't shoot the divers. I think they're my friends. Oh. Rescue you, Fred. Alright, kill the fish. Rescue Dave. Get some oxygen. Yep, okay. Kill some more fish. Kill that sub. Get more oxygen. Kill the pink fish. More people to rescue. Oh no, the fish turned orange. That's a bad thing, I think. A lot more subs. Getting frenzied. Leave Fred alone. Fred number two. Or it's the same Fred who jumped back in the water. I don't know. All right. Oh, there's Jack. Get Jack. Oh, oh. Alright. Michael. Oh, we saved Michael. I'm running out of oxygen. We did a thing. We cleared the board. Alright, some more of the same. I think it's harder. Let's get this guy. He doesn't have a name. He's just fodder. Okay, Jacques. Subs. All right. Yeah, I know. I'm running out of oxygen. Boo, boo, boo. All right. Oh, we've seen that game. It's pretty much that over and over again. So let's rate it. So graphics. Graphics aren't too bad. I'll give them a five and a half. Sound is decent. We'll give it an average five and a half. Music really is none. Zero. Story. Uh, well, based on the back of the box from Taiwan, I'm going to give it a two. Uh, controls. Controls are pretty good. Seven. Funness. Oh, I think that one's it, it's pretty frantic and fun. I guess it'd be fun to try for a high score or give it a six. It doesn't hold my attention. Five and a half and overall five and a half. Let's move on to the next one. All right, our next game is Shuttle Orbiter, which also came out in 1983. And the box art here, it's from the Avalon Hill Video Game Company, Shuttle Orbiter, for use with Atari and Sears video computer systems. And we just got a photo of the space shuttle. And let's see, for the Atari 2600, good morning, Captain. It is imperative that you complete the construction of the space shuttle as soon as space station as soon as possible. The shuttle is fueled and ready for liftoff. The orbiting factory will provide you with the last 10 seconds of the space station. 
sections. Ah. The Orbital Fuel Depot is standing by to provide you with additional fuel should you require. Scanners report a hazardous debris belt at high altitude. Time is of the essence. Good luck. Shuttle Orbiter is a race against time to complete the space station. It includes elements of both strategy and arcade games. Excellence in Shuttle Orbiter requires mastery of basic orbital mechanics, development of a logistic strategy, and agility of close-in maneuvering. Shuttle Orbiter is a one-player game requiring one joystick controller and is intended for use with a color television. Don't tell me how, TV. Alright, let's play the game. We got, we got the shuttle there. If you remember, there was a shuttle. All you young kids. And the shell's taking off. Okay. I think we won. We successfully launched our shuttle. Oh, there's more. So, I don't know what kind of thing I'm looking at here. Uh, every time I push a direction, though, the numbers go down. I don't know what that means. Button seems to do nothing. Wait, now I'm further away. Okay. What's going on here? Nope. Am I the yellow thing? Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Something happened. Now we're dodging. Whoa. Think, whoa. What? I don't know what's going on. Apparently we're dots in the sky. Okay. Guess this is why you read manuals. Um. Oops. Okay. Well. Let's rate that. Graphics. Uh, the graphics I saw were pretty decent. So give it a six. Sound. Uh, sounds like thrusters. Wasn't much else going on there. Three and a half. Music. There was none. Story. Um, didn't give it a two. Controls, uh, three and a half. Funness, uh, two and a half. Does it hold my attention? Uh, a one. And overall, we're going to give Shuttle Orbiter a two and a half. I'm sure there's more to that game. I just can't find it. Let's move on to the last game of the day. All right, our final game today is a game called Sky Skipper, which came out in 1983. And the box art looks like this. Uh, we got kind of a dorky looking guy in a little old fashioned biplane with a net with a bunny and a turtle in it and there's apparently a monkey uh, wanting to throw some brown object at the guy I guess and it's from Parker Brothers back of the box get set to take off in this high flying adventure you're the pilot chosen for this most unusual mission to rescue the animals held captive by the dangerous gorillas doesn't look like a gorilla um uh, but it won't be easy. You must pilot your plane through all kinds of flying hazards. To make matters worse, you only have a limited amount of fuel to complete your mission. It's a fast-moving, frantic fight. flight fit for only the best of flying aces. Are you ready to accept the challenge? Nope. You'll begin your high-flying mission with a full tank of gas to rescue the cats and turtles. Fly your airplane through the hazardous course to spot directly above a gorilla. Looks like bunnies and turtles, not cats, but whatever. Press the fire button and you'll knock the gorilla off his feet. Now's your chance to swoop down and rescue as many animals as you can before the gorilla locks him up again. The rabbits, there we go, are a little harder to save. You'll need your best piloting skills to reach their cages. Now you're off to save the turtles, but it'll be harder to knock down the gorillas, especially when you have to avoid the white clouds floating in the sky. Clouds are deadly, we know that. Be careful or you'll crash. Who said this mission would be easy? Not me. Keep an eye on your fuel gauge because you're running low. Can you save all the animals in time? Cooper, can we save all the animals in time? Can we? Can we do it? I don't know. Let's try. That's a gorilla, apparently. Okay. Well, I'm flying upside down. That, that's a good plane, I guess. All right, get the turtles. I thought the turtles were supposed to be harder, but they weren't. Get the cats. Oh. All right, let's drop that and get the stupid blinky cat things. Okay, we did that. Where are these rabbits? Rabbits. Oh. There's more creatures over here. Oh, another gorilla. High flying action. 
gorillas are going to be hard. Rabbits are supposed to be harder. They seem to be the same. He's going to get up again, so let's... Alright. Let me go save the, uh, I think, chickens? Chick? Chicks? I don't know. Oh, I only got one more to save. Got to do it. Sorry, little duck. Chicken. Duck chicken. Chicken duck. Get him! Get the chicken! Save the chicken! We are the best! Cool. And more of the same. So, oh, I crashed into a wall off screen. Okay. So graphics aren't too good. We'll give them a four. Mu or sound, rather. Um, not a lot going on there. Two and a half. Music, it does have some. It's not great. We'll give them a three. Story, uh, one and a half. Controls, controls are okay. We'll give it a six. Funness, uh, maybe a three and a half. Does it hold my attention? A two. And overall, we're going to give it a three and a half for Sky Skipper. And that's it. Please like, subscribe, and we'll see you next game.